Thank you. Well, he did it once, he can do it again. And now while we're here. Yeah. How many how many times have you heard we like Trump uh, policies, but we want somebody new? There are no Trump policies without Donald Trump. I was there. And I say this sincerely. You can talk about his policies, but you could not do what he did. Somebody tell, somebody lower that mic for Lindsey Graham because he's having some <laughs> trouble. It's like, yo, hey, <laughs> show that again. It would look pretty ridiculous. Uh, I want to say that Donald Trump is an amazing figure. <laughs> he's a very small guy. I don't know, maybe just, I don't know. Who knows? I messed up my microphone. <laughs> Apologies there. Uh, let me fix this while you tell us what you're thinking, here, Jeff. <laughs> What's going on here? Can we backtrack to something you said earlier? Like, <laughs> is is Rhino globalist? Like a, a diss track, is that like the most disrespectful thing he could have said? I, I'm still running with the hip hop analogy, by the way. I should really I like control it. what I listened to before getting on. But like this has to be the like the sucker MCs of the the <laughs> hip hop era, right? Like Rhino Globalist, is that the worst thing you can say about a conservative Republican? Is that what we're going with here? I think so. I mean, well, actually, I'm I'm trying to actually picture what kind of policies a rhino globalist would have, because I'm I guess I don't mix myself enough in all these uh, insults yeah, yeah, that yeah. push. But yeah, of course, the yeah. rhino he's not really a Republican, so that means he's he's a lib. I don't know. I yeah. Well, I, I heard it and I thought of the song Wangsta, so that's what I kind of <laughs> ran with. But anyway, so Lindsey Graham, oh my gosh, are you prepared, Jr. Are you ready for if Ron were to somehow win? Lindsay's going to backtrack oh, and 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 hold on to Ron as well because Lindsay kind of has a history of doing such things. And so, are you ready for that? Are you prepared for this turn, this, this heel turn from him? I'm upset that I didn't even think about that because oh. he's openly <laughs> said it. He was uh, he was uh, um, I'm blanking on, on my man, the Maverick. Uh, I, why am I? But John McCain's John McCain's best friend. My best friend loved him so much, and they were. Oh. John McCain would say the same. But Lindsey Graham, in some of his, I think it was a, a radio interview or something, he did mention he likes to attach himself to the relevant person to remain relevant himself. He openly said it. I was like, did someone like prank him or did someone trick him with a hidden audio recording or something like that? No, he openly said it. And therefore, there's Donald Trump after he said, after Donald Trump will destroy our party. And we will deserve it. Now he's moved I, on to consistently staying with Trump. I'm just saying, Lindsey Graham, if you got a hit song out there, he will try to be a featured artist on that thing. I, I'm gonna leave the, the analogy alone <laughs> after this. <laughs> yeah, if you got a hit song, you got a number one track out there. Lindsey Graham wants to be a part of it. He's gonna get the fourth verse on every one of these songs. He's gonna tail <laughs> off. That's all that matters. He definitely is not getting the featured verse for sure. Uh, so yeah, it's the the battle. The battle lines are set. I'm actually curious to see how Trump's going to respond to once Nikki Haley, I think, finally does announce, which rumors have it say it'll be around February 15th that she will also announce. He's got a couple of heavy Republican haters that he's going to have to deal with and see if he still has the power that he thinks he's got. I feel like this is going to be early for these battles. I feel like 2024 is too far away, but yo, it's 23. I guess I'm wrong. Let's take a first break though, uh, and a few of your comments on these electoral pol politics. And if you are a Republican, I'm curious what people think. Which side of this, or even if you're from a Democrat, lib, independent point of view, which one of these guys do you think uh, is gonna be uh, the one that end up on top and why? 